hey everyone, it's been a long time since anyone in the neighborhood has found a snake. And with no snake calls, I thought I'd show you another type of snake that is found in our neighborhood and is found in North Carolina, but um, didn't come from outside. This is Cobb, and she is my corn snake. She is about, I got her in March, and she was a hatchling then, so she's only a few months old. Um, right now, she's about two feet long, but you can't tell because she's twisted around my hand. Corn snakes, like I said, are native to North Carolina, and they're they're known as red rat snakes. So basically, she's very similar to the black snakes and things that we find in the neighborhood. She eats rats and mice. Right now, she's eating tiny little mice. Um, but she'll get about three feet long, four feet long, maybe even a little longer, and eat normal size adult mice. Um, they're good pets. She's very calm, as you can see. She's not um, harmful in any way. Um, she's a little freaked out right now because she doesn't particularly care to be handled, but corn snakes make great pets, and they also uh, make great snakes in educational programs. A lot of times, corn snakes are the first snake that anybody has ever handled um, because, like I said, they're known for being docile, docile and being good, good, easy-to-handle snakes. Um, Cobb is a female. We didn't know what she was at first, but we sent off a piece of her shedded skin from one of her sheds, and DNA test determined that she was a female. Um, but I don't, I don't guess these guys reach sexual maturity until probably about a year and a half or so. Um, I haven't seen any evidence that, uh, you know, she would want to breed or anything like that. She hasn't laid eggs. Sometimes, even if they don't breed, they lay, um, eggs without any, um, any fertility to them, kind of like a chicken. But, um, anyway, she, um, as you can see, has an interesting pattern. It's pretty similar to what a corn snake here in the wild would look like, um, the reason they call them corn snakes is twofold. A lot of times they hang out in corn um, cribs or in corn area, like hay hay lofts and things like that in farms because they eat mice. They eat things that eat the corn. And the other reason is the pattern on their belly sometimes reminds people of Indian corn. Um, she doesn't have a pattern in her belly. Even though she's a normal corn snake, um, there's a lot of breeding that goes on. They get different variations and whatnot um, in the pet trade. And she, um, you know, she doesn't have the pattern on her belly. Um, she was never outside. That's a question some people ask me. She was bought at Pet at PetSmart. She's a captive bred corn snake, so she has never lived outside, and she probably would not survive in the wild. Um, she doesn't have her snake instincts. <laughs> she, um, when she eats her mice and stuff, she doesn't constrict like a normal snake would. Um, she's just used to being uh, fed by hand. So anyways, it's a short video, just three minutes about corn snakes. Here's Cobb. She's going to come up here and say hello to the camera. Um, they're very curious animals. They're not, um, like I said, as you've seen, in no way is she aggressive or anything like that. Um, they're easy to take care of. That's another question. I feed her one mouse a week. I clean her one poop a week out of the tank. And I make sure she has water and, and ample heat. Um, because they are, are cold-blooded like every reptile, they do have to have an external heat source because they cannot regulate their own temperature. So, anyways, um, that's everything I know about corn snakes in three minutes. So, uh, hopefully someone will find a snake outside soon. Hopefully, maybe even a corn snake. And um, I can help out with that.